John F. Kennedy once said, our progress as a nation can be no swifter than our progress in education. More than three decades later, his words still ring true. In today's complex world, we're finding success in life often begins with success in school. It's hard to realize what uh, black America would be like today if we had not had historically black institutions to help assimilate the blacks into the American culture. Historical black colleges and universities have not only been critical to the education and advancement of black Americans over the past 170 years, they have made significant contributions to American higher education and life in general. What is a historical black college or university? In Title III of the Higher Education Act of 1965, Congress officially defined a historical black college or university as an institution of higher learning which was established and accredited before 1964 and whose principal missions were and are the education of black Americans. The Institute for Colored Youth in Pennsylvania, later named Cheney University, was the first historical black college or university when it was established in 1837. Today, there are 106. Although they constitute only 3% of America's 4,084 institutions of higher learning, the 106 historically black colleges and universities enroll 14% of all African American students in American higher education. The historical black college and university provides a unique educational experience for African Americans. Students who attend HBCUs graduate with greater frequency than African American students at predominantly white universities and get more academic and social support in the process. In 1999, historically black colleges and universities matriculated and awarded degrees to approximately 24% of all African American students enrolled in higher education. Additionally, master's degrees or prof first professional degrees were awarded to one in six African American students enrolled in HBCUs. Because of their strong environment of support and mentoring of young African American minds, HBCUs have proven to be most effective in educating and graduating African American students who are prepared and poised to be competitive and succeed in all arenas of life. For example, over half of all African American professionals are graduates of HBCUs. More than 50% of the nation's African American public school teachers and 70% of African American dentists earned their degrees at HBCUs, and there are 15 current members of Congress, almost half of the Congressional Black Caucus, who attended an HBCU. The names of prominent graduates of historical black colleges and universities are well known to all Americans and throughout the world. Noted educator Booker T. Washington, award-winning 60 Minutes correspondent Ed Bradley, former Congresswoman the Honorable Barbara Jordan, civil rights icon Rosa Parks, author Alex Haley, Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall, Olympic athlete Wilma Rudolph, talk show host Oprah Winfrey, UN Ambassador and Atlanta Mayor Andrew Young, all-star NFL player Jerry Rice, and so many more. It's important to protect and support historically black colleges and universities because of the historical role it has paid, played in the past for the American youth and for what it will do for the future and the fact that uh, not only for African Americans but for all American students. In 1901, Grambling State University, founded by former slaves and son of slaves, opened its doors as a small colored industrial and agricultural school in rural northeast Louisiana. Grambling has evolved into a distinguished, highly respected historically black university with all the strengths and benefits of a major university. Today, Grambling is a comprehensive public university offering undergraduate, graduate, professional, and continuing education programs to the citizens of Louisiana, the nation, and the world. Today, Grambling State University is reclaiming our legacy and claiming our place by increasing our competitiveness through teaching and applied research in fields of education, business, nursing, social work, liberal arts, science, and technology. Some great people and ideas. We're glad you can join us here on the Profile Series. Be sure to join us again next time for more stories 
of success. I'm Lou Gossett, Jr.